What's going on guys? Multiverse Corrupt here with yet another action figure review video and today we're having a look at the Predator 2 Ultimate Snake Predator from NECA Toys. As always guys starting off this video we are taking a look at the NECA Toys packaging and it does of course have this beautiful comic image of the Snake Predator standing on what looks to be some type of armored vehicle with some guys shrieking in fear. The Predator 2 movie logo and the Ultimate Snake Predator's name. If you open up the little front flap here we see it has the open face window with the Snake Predator in all of his glory and fellow accessories down here at the bottom and it has another nice little combat pose for the snake predator looking like he's ready to do some damage flipping over here to the side now guys we see that it says predator 2 and the ultimate snake predator again flipping over here to the back now guys is the read up and some awesome looking combat poses of the figure itself with of course the list of the other fellow predators that i will collect every last one of them Flipping over here to this side, guys, we see Predator 2 again in the 30th anniversary. On the top, we see Predator 2 again in the Ultimate Snake Predator. And down here at the bottom is the barcode for you barcode guys. With all that said, though, guys, let's go ahead and rip the Snake Predator out of the packaging and take a closer look. Snake Predator. Hailing from the infamous Serpent Clan, the Snake Predator specializes in close combat and quick precision strikes. A product of the Yalja's underworld, Snake was raised in an environment where the greatest threats were often those closest to him, including his own brother, Viper. After being trained in the deadly arts, Snake went on to become a master assassin for his clan, accepting secret missions from anyone influential enough to barter for his services. Elders would often employ his talents in order to gain leverage over an opposing clan, extending their wealth and power. Armed with unique double blade hand size, Snake has no use for clunky plasma casters, which allows his attacks to be silent and undetectable. Though not a true member of the Lost Tribe, Snake is occasionally tasked to oversee and assist with their hunts since their leader Greyback also has a debt to the Serpent Clan, a debt that is to be repaid in highly converted off-world trophies. So right here, guys, is the Snake Predator standing straight up and down on the rotating turntable. And for my first-hand impressions, guys, this Snake Predator is freaking awesome. He is borderline perfect. I'm probably going to have to start off these videos, guys, by saying I am completely biased when it comes to the Predator line. I try not to be for these videos, but he just looks freaking awesome. Look at him. He is gorgeous. With all that said though guys, let's go ahead and get the Snake Predator out of the spotlight and take a closer look at the accessories that he comes with. When it comes to the accessories guys, starting off with the head sculpt, I am of course going to start with the masked head sculpt for this guy because it is just so freaking unique compared to what we have seen before and time and time again and if you look inside there guys you can just see the eyes peering through at you and it looks awesome this is a beautiful head sculpt i really do love this mask and if you flip it over to the back guys you'll notice that he has short dreadlock jewels whatever you want to call them because they are the sensors for the Yalja species. Next up guys, we see his unmasked version over here, which also looks freaking awesome. I really do love the detail that they put into the Predator faces and how they just give them that like wet and slimy look that we know from the movies. But look at this guy, he is freaking ugly. He looks freaking sick. I really do love this head sculpt and I even do love the design within it and that is actually where he gets his name from the snake predator due to the snake like design all throughout his body and we'll get more into that in the detail going over here now guys looking at his extended combi stick and we see that it is a mix between gold and silver with the standard design that we've seen time and time again for the predator figures but it just looks absolutely beautiful 
I once again will not be displaying him with the combi stick because they're just so fragile. Just a little bit of pressure could get this to snap in half, and that's always a big fear for me. So with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and set him over here nice and gentle-like and push forward. Next up, guys, we see that he comes with his own human trophy, his own human skull and spine from the infamous Spine Rip, and it looks freaking awesome. Just looks absolutely amazing. I don't know why it keeps blurring, but we're going to push through. Now, next up, guys, I did call this a sigh inside the read-up, but I put the real name of it here. I don't know how to say that word. I'm going to be honest with you. And Google says it weird. They keep saying like a seeth, so I don't know if it's a seeth, but whatever. It, it's more of like of a sickle type sigh look to me. Um, but yeah, it just looks freaking awesome. And the fact that he comes with two, I'm definitely going to be displaying him with these. Dual wielding, ready to do some assassin type damage. And it just looks amazing. Going over here now, guys, looking at his collapsed combi stick. We see it's the same design that we've seen time and time again with the Predator figures. Just with the silver tip and the rest of it being gold. It is just a beautiful work of art. And it looks amazing. Going over here now, guys, we've seen them before. We'll go ahead and take a look at both of them. We have the closed up smart disc ready to be thrown and the opened up smart disc ready for close quarters combat. And I feel like he would be more inclined to use the close quarters combat based off of the reading, how he enjoys close quarters combat. So I don't really see him throwing this unless he absolutely needed to. But this right here, I feel like he would want his kills to be up close and personal. And of course, last but not least, guys, we've seen him time and time again. He does come with multiple different hands. The little graspy hands here. He comes with two open palm hands for the iconic Predator Scream where he's ready to fight. And then he comes with this hand that just slides into the smart disc, which we've seen time and time again. But just to show you guys, refresh your memory, how it just slides right into the hole so that way he is ready to throw this bad boy. With all that said though, guys, let's go ahead and zoom away from the accessories and zoom in closer to the figure himself to take a closer look at the detail. Starting off with the detail guys, I do of course want to start with the masked head sculpt and we have seen it at the beginning of the video but I did want to just get a little bit closer in here. We saw it up close in the accessories but, but we really didn't talk too much about it. But I really do love how different this snake predator's helmet looks. All the designs and the grooves within it, it almost kind of matches the design at least to me on his forehead here. It's just kind of mimics that almost but i really do love the overall design and just the front up here if you really look in there you can see his eyes it's not really popping out on camera at least for me right now but if you guys can see the eyes within there let me know down in the comments i just freaking love this head sculpt i'm definitely posing up my snake predator wearing his helmet now let's go ahead and move that out of the way and get into the figure himself guys starting off with this head sculpt once again we did see this so we'll kind of just brush through it i do love the paint and the snake design going all throughout his body and especially on his forehead here it really does earn him the name, the Snake Predator, just with that mouth as well, too. It is a standard closed-up mouth, but it still looks freaking awesome. Just, just with the wrinkles all throughout his mandibles and extra teeth that they have added onto the sides, he looks beautiful. Look at that face. Only a face a mother could love. Moving down here now, guys, to his torso. I do, of course, want to start off with his little fur here, and it is an actual soft pelt. Now, I'm not thinking that this is actual any animal fur, but now going down here to his torso now, guys, looking at this paint and the detail within it, just that overall snake pattern really does stand out for this guy, especially if you flip him over to the back. It just kind of courses all throughout him, and I really do love the wet, slimy design that they captured on this guy that we have seen time and time again from the movies. Now, I will say if you haven't noticed already, he does have less armor going for him. If I could bring over the Guardian Predator where a video will come out on him very, very soon, guys. But as you see, he has more armor on his shoulders all the way around down his back. 
and down his midsection as well compared to this guy who is just pretty much laid bare. But I respect that because he is so confident in his skills that he's just ready to get in and get out without being detected. It is really something that separates him from the rest of the Yalja species. Going down here to his midsection now, guys, we do see he does come with the armor of with the armor coming down here. And I originally thought this was like a butt shield because it has like a crack cheek cheek, but it's not in the front. So it's just a little extra protection for him down there. And then of course we see where the smart disc plugs into, seen it time and time again. And then of course his legs are just a remodel from the previous Predator figures that we have seen before. With all that said though guys, let's go ahead and zoom away from the snake predator and take a closer look at his size articulation and some size comparison. When it comes to how tall the snake predator stands, guys, the snake predator does stand and it looks like exactly eight inches tall. So he is the standard for the NECA predator line. Going ahead, bring him a little bit closer to the camera now, guys, going into some articulation. Starting off with his head sculpt, he can look up all the way and can look down about that far. Get some nice head tilt in there and his head does rotate all the way around. And when it comes to his arm articulation, his arms do go out about that far, which isn't that far at all. Let's see if we get some more with this one here. Get, gets a little more reach over here on this side, guys. When it comes to his bicep, guys, his bicep swivel it does exist. It is there. Double hinged elbows and his wrists do articulate all the way around as well. Going over here to his ab crunch now, guys. His ab crunch is there just a little bit. He does bend forward about that far. And he does also bend back, but very slightly. It's not really there. He kind of just makes him stand straight up. Going to his waist now, guys. His waist does articulate all the way around, but do be careful with that little mid plate there. When it comes to his leg articulation, his legs go forward about that far. They go back about that far. He does, of course, have double hinged knees. And as for his ankle articulation, his ankles do go down. They go up. He doesn't have any toe articulation, but his toes sure are sharp, so be careful with that. But he also comes with that beautiful ankle pivot. Starting off the size comparison, guys, here we have Snake Predator standing next to the Alpha Predator and the Shaman Predator, two of them that we have seen before. And then, of course, we have him next to the Warrior Predator and the Scout Predator, and comparing the other fours to the Snake Predator, he fits right in with his family here. Jumping over into the DC Universe, guys, here we have the NECA Toys Snake Predator next to the McFarlane Batman Rebirth and John Constantine Page Punchers. And I think that this scale here works wonders. And last but not least, guys, here we have the Marvel Legends Deadpool from the 2016 Deadpool film. And unfortunately, this scale does not work for me. Maybe it works for you, but not for me. Alrighty guys, and there you have it. Another action figure review video in the books on my channel for you guys to enjoy. When it comes to our review on the Snake Predator, I'm going to have to give him a solid 10 out of 10. I really do enjoy this figure. I think he is just an overall badass. He looks freaking amazing. And NECA Toys, just like always with the Predator line, knocked it out of the park. And I really do love how different this guy looks compared to the other ones. He may still have the same body sculpt, but the lack of armor that is there, the fur pelt that he has going on for him, it looks amazing. Words cannot describe this guy. If you haven't picked him up, pick him up. He is hitting target stores. So be on the lookout for this guy. With all that said though, guys, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like button and hit subscribe if you are new. We like to post videos at least two times a week, even though I was a little slacking this week, but that's not the standard here. Go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Later.